Yo, YouTube was popping. It's your boy Alkali from Maybe on Gaming today. Bring you guys just a simple class setup video. This is a new one. I haven't did one in a while, and I've gotten better weapons and all that good stuff. So here I will be. Uh, had to meet this my other mic here, my Astro mic. Um, I'm gonna be uh, showing you my new classes that I run now for from now on. I'm gonna be showing you um why I run these certain attachments and perks and uh, all that good stuff so hopefully hopefully you guys find this really really helpful and I hope you guys uh, wind up using some of these classes so let's get into it so the first one here is a bow I don't really use the bow too much it it kind of just depends on how the game's going really um, since the bow has been patched there's more real recoil to it so you're gonna have to have a foregrip on it so I, I normally for my battle classes I put a four grip. It's, it's definitely a must to keep that recoil on the low on that weapon. But um, as of right now, I didn't get the uh, quick draw attachment for it yet. Um, but I normally do have quick draw on this class, and I normally get rid of the sight and put a um, stay in the mags or a stock. I normally have four grip quick draw or stock or four grip quick draw and stay in the mags. Um, that's normally what I normally run on the uh, bow, but as of right now, since I don't have those attachments, I just, I just put a sight on there, you know, to increase the, uh, or I increase the accuracy, but, you know, it'll uh, help me aim a little bit better, you know, on the fly and stuff like that, be a little bit more precise. And the perks are, you know, I run the same perks generally for every class, so it's normally, you know, lightweight, low profile. And perk three is normally toughness or scavenger or toughness and blast suppressor. I don't normally uh, run a uh, perk two to MPN. If I do, it's either fast hands. If I have a uh, exo launcher or exo grenade or a uh, you know, that's only the time I really use fast hands. Or if I'm using a sniper class where I have a uh, when I have overkill um, wild card on and I have a uh, like an SMG as my secondary. I uh, put fast hands on to you know whip out the uh, neck of my other primary a little bit faster, but um, uh, I don't normally have a uh, perk two really, but and for my exo ability, it no my exo ability uh, for all my classes are a mute device, just because it's uh it helps you know it's silencing your footsteps and it gives you you know it gives your ears uh time to hear everything else that's going around you, you know you're not work you, you don't have that added footsteps in your like your own footsteps in your ear that you're listening to you know it silenced those so now you'll be able to focus on uh paying attention to the noise around you now like the noise that you should be worrying about not your, you shouldn't be worrying about your footsteps you should be worrying about the other noise around you so it, it helps man with everything going on it helps to have your footsteps silenced and as perks go normally i normally run just uav and system hack i don't really run a third one um Normally I have threat detection and speed on it, or um, extra assist points, and system hack is normally extended time, two extended times, or a uh, disabled exo suit in extended time. I'm going to move on here to my next sub, one of my favorite subs in the game is the ASM-1 Speak Easy. It's an uh, elite weapon. Uh, it comes with extended mags you can't take off, so I love that. Um, and I normally put a foreground and a quick draw in, and that's all you really, really need on this weapon. It's just, it's pretty accurate, and I destroy, you destroy up close, mid range, and I, I dabble with it long range as well. I love this weapon. It just takes down people really fast. I suggest you guys start using this weapon if you have it. Um, if you have the competence, I would say use that as well. Um, definitely put a foregrip on that because it lowers accuracy. And uh, if you have the magnitude, I would definitely use that. And if you have the rigor, if you use that as well, or any other ASM's ones so far. Any of these that you have, I would try using those if you don't have, like, Speakeasy or, you know, if you have one of these, just use them. It is great to have, or it's great to have and it's great to use. You know, you can, you can just drop people and get some kills or a lot of kills. And like I said, same perks. I'm gonna move on here to my next AR is the AK RIP. I don't really use it too much, um, but the attachments I normally run on it are foregrip, uh, stock, and quick draw. Um, but actually, for this weapon, since it comes with 22 bullets in the chamber, it's kind of, it, that's another thing why I don't really use it too much sometimes. Um, it doesn't have enough bullets in this clip. But um, once I get the extended mags, I normally put extended mags, foregrip, and quick draw, and that's normally it. Or I just normally put uh, 
extended mags, quick draw, or stock. Um, it kind of, I just kind of flipped through, between the chances, but I think the main attachment you really need on weapons nowadays, or for most of these weapons, is stock, foregrip, quick draw, extended mags. So or for some weapons, you know, really need extended mags, but um, for this weapon in particular, you definitely need extended mags. I love this weapon, it has increased power, so that's why I use it. And I don't really have too many AKs, so this is kind of like my best one so far, so. Here we got the Insanity. Um, HBR Insanity, this is my favorite HBR. Uh, it's one of my favorite weapons, actually, next to the ASM1. Um, I, I love this weapon. Uh, even after the patch on this one, it still wrecks, but you know, it, it's not as, cause it doesn't consistently wreck as it did. You can't put a sight on it, of course, and um, the fire rates increase by two blocks. So that's pretty nice. I love this weapon. I, I normally have a quick draw and foregrip on it. I, I, I sometimes put extended mags and sometimes don't, but I, I recently put a stock on it because um, it was just getting outshot in really, really dumb ways. So uh, I put stock on it, at, you know, when more, most of those gunfights. And, uh, you know, it comes with 30 bullets, so that's pretty enough. Like, I don't really need extended mags on it for, for that reason. So I... I I sacrificed that clip to put a sock on that to win the bat more more of the battle. So that's that. And my next sub is the recent MP11 Goliath I've gotten uh, the other day. I got it, got this yesterday, and it rips, guys. Let me tell you, it rips. It um, I love this weapon. I, it, it's definitely the best. Like one of the, I think it's pretty close to the AS1 and da like far as like dropping people and slaying powers or slaying power really it, it shoots the fire rates for, uh ridiculous you know that damage is increased by three blocks you know and uh the handling's you know kicked down a little bit but you know it's not really that bad but um other than that it, i just love this weapon um i love the four great extended mags and the uh quick draw and you definitely need extended mags on it for sure goes through the clip pretty fast but you know, it just it takes them down so fast, guys. I love this weapon. I definitely recommend it. It's, it's one of my favorite weapons now, as of now. It's next to ASM1 and HBR. It's definitely one of my favorite. And I'm glad to have this weapon. And uh, for some reason, for some odd reason, um, the thing I do for my loud weapons, these, I call these my loud weapons. Anything that doesn't have like an S on the end of it, like I normally would name my classes ARS if it has a silencer or. If it doesn't have silencers, I just call it just AR or so. But uh, for normally just my loud weapons, I have just scavenger and toughness. I don't really use a blast suppressor. I got a uh, DNA bomb the other day just using uh, this weapon loud. Um, I actually, no, I think it was this morning. Yeah, it was this morning. I got it this morning. I don't, say what, I don't know why I said yesterday, but I got it this morning. I got a DNA bomb with this weapon. Um, loud, of course, without blast suppressor, and on my main account. So you know, with skill based matching, and that's pretty crazy. You know, it's I felt achieve uh, achieve, <laughs> or I felt a, I felt that was an accomplishment, man. Because normally these DNA bombs really don't uh, accomplishing, man. It doesn't really give you a cool effect or anything. It's just annoying to go for and stuff, really. Especially with the skill based matching, you're going against you know people that know what they're doing. If you have like a good win loss or high KD, but this weapon I suggest you guys if you have it, um, and if you about using it, um, I suggest you use it. If you haven't gotten it yet, um, I feel bad for you because this weapon is just so awesome. And I will have you, I'll have some highlights and game, uh, highlights and gameplays of this weapon showing you guys this instruction. And um, going on to my silencer classes, a speed is, uh, you know, video up. I got my ARS. Like I said, I named these, you know, ARS is for silencers. Um, I keep the same perk one, and the only thing different in the perk three is blast suppressor isn't on them. This is for like more like search and destroy, search and rescue, like game types when we're doing clan wars and stuff like that. So if we're playing like those type of game types, I'll put a sound on it, you know, to be more like sneaky and stuff like that, sneaky play style. And then, and I'll use them in regular other playlists like you know Dom or something like that, or you know just see, you know, just be more sneaky, you know, be more of a nuisance type deal. But I don't really um dabble with them too much silence just really take down the damage of a lot of weapons in the game so uh these three are kind of the ones i feel like it doesn't really damage its power too much and uh this spot is saved for just random classes i need to make but i normally is probably going to make a uh, mp11 goliath silence class for this part for this slot here but i'm not sure yet i want to um actually i want to test it out i'm going to i'm going to test it out and i'll probably uh 
If it actually turns out to be good, I'll probably just leave this uh, MP11 Goliath silence in the slot here whenever I make it. And as for my last class, it is the uh, Moors. I always gotta have a sniper class. <laughs> I just love sniping sometimes. You gotta get in that uh, feel. Um, but yeah, this is the Moors Penetrator. I got this mm, the other day. Uh, it's increased damage and mobility, but it lowers the fire rate and handling a little bit, but eh, it's alright. Put a thermal on it recently, just to, you know, try th new things out. And uh, as for the perks, I got low profile and flag jacket. And uh, I have fast hands. You know, like this, like I said, to uh, switch to my AS1 a lot easier. Uh, and uh, as for the perk threes, I have blast suppressor and toughness. And what's funny is I actually got on the streak with a sniper uh, today, earlier today. I got on a ruthless just sniping, 15 kills with a sniper. Ran, ran out of my ammo, all, all of my sniper ammo, and I was like, wow, I didn't have scavenger on, and I was like, wow, this sucks. But luckily, I had this weapon in my pocket, so everything was all good. But uh, yeah, that's basically all I have. This is uh, on this weapon now. But uh, this is basically my class setup, guys. I hope you guys actually like find this helpful and you guys use some of these weapons to your advantage. Um, and I actually hope you guys have some of these weapons, like uh, some of these elite weapons. Like I said, these are great elite weapons, like the Speakeasy, the Insanity, the R.I.P., the Goliath. You know. So um, like I said, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully, you find, hopefully you find it helpful. YouTube and uh, yeah, guys, be, be sure to give this video a like, guys. You need the likes would be greatly appreciated. And also sub to the channel, guys. Uh, every sub counts. We're pretty close to that 700 mark, and we appreciate everyone that's been following us and subbing to us. I mean, it means a lot. Um, please be sure to stop by the stream as well, guys. Links will be in the description and all that good stuff. So I'll catch you guys later. Be sure to keep. Uh, looking out for more videos from us.